T.J. Lang, former Lions, mainly Packer, local guy, says on Twitter, or on, well, he said it on 97 won a ticket that uh, he feel that Jared Goff is missing Josh Reynolds, you know, that number three receiver. And I can believe that to be true because you got to remember, you know, Jared Goff struggled into the Lions. He, to the Lions brought, brought in Josh Reynolds off waiver. Remember, he got cut by the Titans. And Reynolds and Goff used to play together in L.A., and that was his security blanket. You know, Reynolds can, you know, even though Reynolds probably didn't play out the slot as much as he did with L.A., you know, I don't know no numbers, just thinking about it, but he, you know, he, you know, he played out a slot a ton when he first came here, and that's when they got their first win, I believe, is when they got Josh Reynolds. And they got some receivers around here, Goff. So, um, so, yeah, man, they got some receivers, and I think, Somebody with Jared Goff, I mean, Josh Reynolds, he was very familiar with Jared Goff. You knew where he was going to be at. We spent so much time together, and, you know, it, it, was, it was a beautiful it was a beautiful, beautiful thing for the Lions to deal with, for Goff to deal with Josh Reynolds. And now you don't have that there, of course, that security blanket gone, that familiar, familiar that notoriety, or that familiarity you have with him is gone. And, you know, but my whole thing is, I think as much as that chemistry they, they probably miss, as much as that matters, what matters most, in my opinion, is just them getting back to what their true football thing is, and that's running the football. Now they have some issues in the red zone, and they move the ball on the Tampa Bay Bucks, and then they got to the red zone, and they just was looking bad. That happens when you can't run the football. When you, I don't guarantee you, some of the top rushing teams are probably year in and year out in the NFL are probably some of the top you know, uh, red zone teams. I, I guarantee you those numbers probably correlate most years. And you know the Lions got to be committed to running the football, you know. But then you know not really having that extra receiver there, that may be letting them lock on Sam Laporta a little bit more and telling the Khalif Raymond to beat you. And Khalif Raymond go out there, and he ain't getting no targets. He's a he's a liability. They're like, oh, we know they're gonna probably go to J-Mo. We'll just play J-Mo one on one. We'll try to take away St. Brown. We'll try to take away Sam Laporta. We gonna double Laporta, and we gonna make the other receiver beat us. And right now, Khalif Raymond ain't beat nobody, and that's why they elevated Allen Robinson and Tim Patrick again for the, uh, week three against Arizona. That's why. So that's exactly why. So you got you got to you got to remember that. That's exactly why they elevated him. So, um, but yeah, I guarantee he is missing him. And defense is probably able to kind of roll covers more to Sam Laporta now without Josh Reynolds in. You know, they wanted to handle it in-house. And, you know, they did go out there and trade for Donovan Peoples-Jones. You know, they did draft Antoine Green. They said they like what they see for both of them over the offseason, at least Antoine Green. He got injured even before the injury in the first preseason game. We didn't see an inkling of him doing anything regardless. So the Lions were cheap. They waited for the waiver wire. And they, they you know, did it that way. You know, just like John, they got Josh Reynolds. They read it. They waited for the waiver wire. You know, they waited for the waiver wire. So, uh, in my humble opinion, of course, he misses Josh Reynolds. Because now, without them running the ball, they roll the coverage probably to Laporta. And St. Brown is saying, well, J-Mo Khalif beat us. The backs out the backfield catching the ball beat us anything the team would do. You were supposed to upgrade that position, not regress it. So we'll see if Tim Patrick can, can and Allen Robinson can fill the void. Because Khalif Raymond damn sure can't. And we knew that coming in. This ain't rocket science. This ain't news. Even Dan Campbell said, we don't really want to do this to, to Khalif and play him on. He ain't a receiver. So, but, uh, but, you know, they went with the best guys on the board, Rack Straw and Terry Ian Arnold. And you had to do it. You were so bad at corner last year. So, and you can find receivers everywhere. But in my humble opinion, they do miss Josh Reynolds. He do. It was somebody that had years of chemistry with him. And, you know, just because he dropped the ball in the championship game, I don't even think people was really mad at him when he dropped that ball. Like, his drops was, like, it, it became contagious. But I've seen, like, Ebron get way more hell than he got. 
hell yeah. So I don't even think people was was mad at Josh Reynolds for real. But they needed to fill that void with another receiver. I felt like they needed to really upgrade that position to take the offense to another level. If I was being real, that's why I'm like, damn, you know, maybe they should take a flyer on Mike Evans. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would have been unreal. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody of an upgrade or somebody in the draft that can really do those things, man. But uh, they chose to do it a different way. They understandably so, but... But yeah, when you get rid of a guy like Josh Reynolds, somebody that he's familiar with, you know, they got rid of two guys that he had great chemistry with. DJ Shark was another one, but Shark can't stay healthy. He already injured out there in L.A. with Harbaugh before the season started. So Shark can't stay healthy, and they had, uh, you know, got rid of Josh Reynolds, obviously. Those are guys he had, you know, he had great chemistry with. He had some phenomenal chemistry with. Yeah, you missing any anytime you in sync with somebody like 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 Reynolds, you know, you in sync with somebody like that, like yeah, for many many years, yeah, you gonna miss that. But and he got the height and the size, so that was the bad thing about waiting on a waiver wire and not getting nobody in the off season that golf need reps to get familiar. And now they don't have those that time to build them that reps. That you would have in the offseason. Look how long it took him and J Mo to get on the same page. You know? It took them a long time. So, that one could be a speed thing, it could be whatever, but Patrick and Robinson got a lot of ground to make up, and they veterans, and that'll help them. But hopefully, they can, they can find a rhythm or a tempo within the offense and with, and with, uh, and with Jared Goff, if not, the Lions going to be in trouble, bro. Unless you're going to trade for somebody he's been familiar with, like a Brandon Cooks, or you're going to trade for a Josh Reynolds again or something like that. That's the only thing I honestly can think of. So, um, but, yeah, man, it is what it is, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. You got Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live, word drop video financially. If you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ313. Memo on CJ313, pay power in the description. Uh, check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. I appreciate the love support. Uh, let me know what your girls and guys think in the comment section. 